Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Detecting Malicious Facebook Applications. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, we all know that in Facebook, not only for used for social networking, but also you can use some applications like playing games in it, puzzles in it, kinds of things. But what the problem is like many hackers will be misusing those apps and they will steal the data from the user. So to combat this kind of issue, so we have developed a simple web application project where the identity admin will be making manual intervention and blocking the this kind of malicious application and uh, the existing system about the things that is already made on the malicious apps but they are not considered about the facebook application and what are all the disadvantages of the existing system is all described in it and this is about the proposed system that i mentioned to you and this is all about the advantages of the proposed system and in the system architecture you can find the two entities that is user and admin where the user will be going for the applying for the app and admin will be finding and approving the app and blocking the malicious app so these are all about the modules that is used in the project and uh, we have developed this project in java and the net tool that we have used is apache netbeans id 16 and the database is mysql so now let us see the execution of the project so first open apache netbeans id 16 so first we need to import the project into the NetBeans ID. So first go into the file menu and click open project. Now go to the source code location. So in the project you can see the source code folder just you can select this Facebook apps and click open project. Now kindly wait till the project is completely loaded into the NetBeans IE. Meanwhile let us attach the database in the MySQL. So just go to the MySQL administrator. So just log in with the username and password as root and root and then click OK. So now you can see the restore option here. So just click this restore option and after that click the open backup file button. So now you need to go to the source code location again where you can find the database folder. So just go into the database folder and select the database and then click start restore. So now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close. So now you can close this MySQL administrator part because we have successfully attached the database. So now coming back to the Apache NetBeans ID, you can see the project has been loaded successfully into the NetBeans. So just right click it and then click run. So now kindly wait till the project has been transferred to the browser part. So now it asks for the authentication for the Tomcat server. I have given admin and admin click OK. So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title detecting malicious Facebook application. And here you can see the entities admin and the user login. So first let me go to the admin. So once if you click the admin it will be navigated to the admin login page where you need to enter the admin username and password. So both are admin and admin. So this is the default username and password for the admin. So give both admin and admin for both username and password and click the login button. So now you can see the home screen of the admin. So this is the admin home page where we have the options of Frappy verification. So you can see that is empty view user that is empty view application. So everything is empty now because this is the first time we are running the project. So let me log out from the admin part and come back after the details are given. So first let me go to the registration part. So first let me uh, click the give some users. So once after clicking the registration it will be navigated to the register here page. So here you need to give the user names. So now let me enter the username as JP password as jp email id as jp at gmail.com gender mail country as india mobile number and you can select a profile picture here so just give a small size picture so that it will not throw any error in it so let me select a picture and then click register so now you can see the registered successfully message and click ok so now let me go to the registration part again so now let me create another user called xx 
because we are using social networking site so if you are having multiple users only you can just uh, uh, find a friend and give a request on that for that purpose i'm creating two to three accounts so i'll give this user as xx and give xx at gmail.com let me give us female and country as uh, united kingdom mobile number and select a picture and then click register so now i have created the other user also registered successfully and let me go to the registration let me create another user called yy okay and create with the country china mobile number now select a picture and then click register so this is also registered successfully so i have created three users now so if you go to the admin part and now let us check the user part so now if you go to view user part you can see the three user earlier it was empty now you can see the three user that i have created that is jp xxyy so these all the details admin can able to view the details of it so now let me log into the user login so just click this user login so it lasts for the username and password i'll show you one by one so first let me go to the jp login and click sign in so now you can see the login verify and click okay so now once after entering the username and password it will be navigated to the user home page where the user can see the details of the username password all the details if you wanted to change something you can just update so for example if i wanted to change my phone number to plus 9 and 1 and click update so now you can see the updated successfully message and click okay so now if you go you can see it has been updated to the new one what i have given so in this way you can update it and uh, let us come back to the add application later first let me go to the add friends so just if you go to add friends part you can have three option that is search friends find list review request so if you go to the search friends you can just search the friends friends with the name of it or if you go to friend list there is no any friend list because i have not created any friend right now so if you go to view request you can see what all the request that is given from the friend there is no any request given right now so in the message part you can see what is the messages that is we received or you can send the message so now let me log out from this part so now let me go to the second user xx at so now after going just go to the add friends part let me search the friend so now let me give the friend name as jp and click search so immediately you can see the details of the jp is shown so in case if the friend if the, that is no any other for example if i'm giving ajit you can see there is no any request because there is no any user called ajit so it, it does not show anything so let me give jp and give search and let me give send request so now you can see the request is sent to the jp so now let me click okay and now let me log in to the jp part and now if you go to the add friends part and you can see the view request you can see the request that is given by xx has been waiting stage so now if you click this waiting button it will be asking for accepting the request here you can see which user and you can accept it or reject it so now let me accept and click submit so now you can see accepted successfully message and click okay so now if you go to the friend list part you can see this is up updated to xx because this friend has been accepted now so in this way the things are done and next part is message part so in add friends part we have seen for search the friends and you can see the list of friends that is available and you can see the request that is friend request that is made so this part is complete now let me go to the message part in this message part you can send message so now let me send message so here you can see the name that is over whichever the user that the user name is taken defaultly and you can see the friend list that is only one friend list so it is showing only xx if you are having multiple friends you can select from the drop down so now let me select xx and let me uh, message to this friend hi this is jp and let you can also share a photo with them so let me select a photo and then click send so now you can see send successful message and click okay so now if you go to the xx login you can go to the message part and you can see view received message you can see the message that is sent from jp and what is the message and what is the picture it has been shown so till now we have seen about the 
social networking concept basic things OSN concept so now let us go into the project part important part that is adding the application so now let me go to the add application so now you can if you click this add application you can see the options of add application that is develop application to site view applications view my developed application view my profile applications these are the option that is available so if you wanted to submit an application first thing is like develop application to site if you click this you need it will be navigated to the add application page so in this default there will be application id unique id and you need to enter the application name url application icon kinds of thing so now let us uh, up apply for uh, a new app so now let me enter the name of the application as bubble shooter and give the url and choose an application um, icon for this so let me select this and then click add request so you can see added and the license request sent to the admin click ok so once if you go to the add application you can see what are the application that is available there is no currently i have added one application that has been shown here and uh, once if you go to view my detected application view my developed application you can see what all the application that is developed by you it will be shown in case if xx is login into their id it will not show this because this is not developed by access this is given by jp so that is shown to this in the uh, view my developed application and whichever you are adding it will be showing new profile i have not added anything so there is no any profile so once if you go to uh, um, what all the application that is available and if you give to add to my profile immediately it will be added here so now let me add some other application so now let me go to add application to site and i'll add other application name now so now let me add the application name as catch the thief and let me select an image and then click add request so now you can see it is added and sent to the admin so now let me log out from this part now let me go to the admin part and show you what happens here so now after logging to the admin if you go to the frappy verification so earlier it was empty now you can see what all the application that is uh, uh, sent and that is uploaded it will be shown to the admin so admin will be viewing it and we will be checking the verification part so before that we will go to the view application part you can see the view application what all the application that is given by the user so uh, in jp has right now given so that details has been updated here that is application number one application number two that application one is bubble shooter application two is cash that has been updated and here you can see the status that is no license and here you can see the status is no license so only after the uh, admin verifies this apps it will be updated so now i'll show you that part so that we go to the bubble shooter and here you can see the admin uh, sees the application details what is the app id what is the username what is the game and check he verifies the url and what is that and then use the verification just if you click the app verification the app will be verified and license will be activated if you go to view application you can see now the bubble shooter is being licensed and uh, this is not licensed so again if you go to frappy verification and click the, click the catch the thief part and you can see the details of the app id username app name and what is the app url icon of it so admin uh, verifies this app and clicks the frappy verification this is the manual intervention and if you go to view applications you can see this is also now licensed so now let me log out from this part so now let me go to the user part jp jp and now let me go to the application part and now let me go to the view application so there are two applications right now if you wanted to add this in your profile just click add profile so now you can see it is added successfully so now if you go to the uh, view my profile applications you can see one application is added because i have added this bubble shooter in my profile so you can play this game so just if you wanted to play it just click this play so now it will be navigated to the url that is given so here you can see the play on Facebook and you can play it so now let me close this and uh, again if you wanted to add any application in your profile you can see catch my thief just click add to profile and immediately if you go to the view my profile application you can see catch my thief is also added to your profile so if you wanted to play this you can click play and you can play the catch my catch the thief game
so in this way uh, you can able to add and play and let me log out and now let me go to the second uh, user that is xx so now i'll go to the add application and add the develop application to site option and now let me add a application name for so i'll give the application name as brain test and let me select an icon for this and then click add request so now you can see added and license request sent to the admin click ok so now let me add uh, another application application name as angry bird and add the url and let me select an image and then click add request so now you can see added and license request sent to admin so now let me log out from this part now let me go to the final user that is yy and let me add an application for this user let me name the application as chess game and add an application and give a image for it so in this way you can add any number of apps in it so for a scenario i shown you with the five apps now let me uh, go to the add application part so now if you go to the view applications you can see what are all the apps that is updated it is shown here bubble shooter cash the thief brain test angry bird chess game so now if this is the user yy so yy added only one game so if you go to view my develop application you can see the chess game which is added by this user is only shown here so now if you go to the view applications and if you add this bubble shooter so you can see it is added successfully so now if you go to uh, brain test and if you give add to my profile you can see it is detected as malicious application because it is not being verified by the admin and the admin has not verified it so your user cannot able to add the application into their profile so now let me log out and go to the admin part so in the admin i will show you so in the admin part if you go to the view applications you can see the five uh, application the first two was verified that is by the user jp second was second user was xx which is uh, brain test and angry bird so that is not been verified no license low no license so now let me go to the frappy verification so now let me check the details of angry bird so it is okay so now let me give frappy verification so it is been licensed so now i'll go to the chess game i'll also approve this so it is been activated now let me go to the brain test and check it but i am not verifying it so now let me go to the view applications and you can see the in the four application that is except the brain test everything is being licensed now so now let me go to the user part let me go to the xx part now and go to the add application now if you see the view applications you can see what are all the applications that is uh, available so in case if i am going to add this uh, angry bird you can see it is added successfully so if you wanted to play the apl application you can just go to view profile application and click play so now you can see this user can play this game on the, the, this application game on it so in this way they can able to play it and uh, you can use it but uh, now coming to the important that is the final part that is if you go to the view application if you add the brain test you can see it is rated as malicious application because it is not been licensed because of the manual intervention done by the admin so now let me log out and from this part and uh, in the admin part we have checked the frappy verification view user details what are the user available and what are the application that is available so in this way you can check out with the other apps also detect this is all about the project detecting malicious facebook applications using java and thank you for watching